welcome to Polymer Update. This is Simran Chaudhary and you are watching Polymer Update TV, the world's first and only TV network with the free petrochemicals news show. Our special news reel today is sponsored by Hyderabad based Tapma Polymer Conference. Let's start with energy news. Crude oil prices climbed sharply on Tuesday on the back of a drop in US crude inventories and China promised to cut taxes to prevent an economic slowdown. Brent finished at $60.64, a sharp rise of $1.65 per barrel, while WTI traded at $52.11, a gain of $1.60 per barrel. According to Vandana Hari of Vanda Insights, crude futures were easing early Wednesday in Asia as a fragile recovery in financial markets sentiments was dealt a blow by UK Prime Minister Theresa May's Brexit deal facing a crushing defeat in a parliamentary vote on Tuesday. Open spec NAFTA prices meanwhile declined by 3 US dollars per metric ton to the 490 US dollars per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. Moving on to the Asian market update for PPPE and PVC. In PP this week in Far East Asia, Polypropylene prices edged lower by 5 US dollars per metric ton. The marginal price fall was mainly on account of weaker regional buying sentiments coupled with a drop in PP futures on the Dalian Commodity Exchange in China. In India, PP prices also inched lower by 5 US dollars per metric ton amid dull demand trends in the region. In PE, HTPE prices witnessed a fall in Far East Asia. By 10 to 15 US dollars per metric ton, while in Southeast Asia, prices of HTPE drifted lower by 10 to 40 US dollars per metric ton. The price drop was in line with persistent bearish demand trends in the region, coupled with ample product availability. In India, HTPE prices declined by 5 to 20 US dollars per metric ton. The price fall was in line with sufficient product avails, and deals concluded at lower price levels in the region. Despite higher upstream energy and ethylene values, LDPE prices in Far East Asia, Southeast Asia, and India slipped by 5 to 10 US dollars per metric ton. Prices fell as demand trends continue to remain soft. The price fall was further supported by deals sealed at lower price levels in the region. This week, LLDPE prices in Far East and Southeast Asian regions inched lower by 10 US dollars per metric ton. The price decline was in line with persistent dull regional buying interest and a fall in LLDPE futures on the Dalian Commodity Exchange in China. In India, prices of LLDPE remain stable amid softer demand and ample product availability in the region. In PVC, PVC prices in China, Southeast Asia and India climbed by 10 to 15 US dollars this week. The price rise was mainly on the back of stronger import offers from the overseas producers and deals concluded at higher price levels in the region. In domestic market news, in market rumours, PP and PE prices are likely to be rolled over by domestic producers this week. Most market players, however, are of the opinion that prices of PVC are likely to be increased by 1 to 2 rupees per kg basic while some players are of the opinion that prices of PVC are expected to be rolled over. Polymer Update has introduced news and price analysis on Amazon Alexa Virtual Assistant using Echo and other devices. The platform lets subscribers check latest news and prices just by asking Echo or any other Alexa enabled device. This is the first of its kind on Amazon Alexa, so do read the kind of questions that you can ask to Amazon Alexa about Polymer Update. Our special news reel today is sponsored by Hyderabad based Tatma Polymer Conference. The Telangana and Andhra Plastics Manufacturers Association is organizing a one day polymer conference at the Park Hyatt in Hyderabad on the 18th of January 2019, where influential business leaders from international companies discuss key strategies and issues facing different sectors of the market. That's all for today's Polymer News. Watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. It is Wednesday, January 16th. I am Simran Chaudhary. Thank you. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Polymer Update and be sure to click the like button. You can also find us on Twitter at Polymer Update. For the latest news from the plastics and petrochemicals industry, subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon.